we are in Bucklesbury, North Carolina, and I am standing in front of a tobacco field. All right, as we've already learned, tobacco was introduced as a cash crop back during colonial periods by Sir John Rolfe. By this time in American history, subsistence farming was no longer necessary, and since England was trying to gain money off of its colonies, they decided that tobacco was perfect. So instead of growing food all the time simply for eating and survival, they decided to start growing other crops whose main purpose was to sell for cash. Now in England, tobacco was quite popular for smoking, as it unfortunately still is today. Tobacco became the South's main cash crop along with other crops such as cotton. Tobacco and cotton have, been, have carried the South through the entire history, ever since colonial periods, and North Carolina is one of the main producers of tobacco. Now, when it comes to the tobacco plant, as you can see, it is relatively big. The only parts that are being used are the leaves. What happens is, they start at the very bottom, which are the leaves that ripen first. They go through the entire field, taking only the bottom leaves, and then end up moving up the stalk. After they take the leaves off, they put them in pack houses where they dry out and they shrivel down to smaller sizes. Then they stick them in big metal crates, ship them off to the tobacco companies where they're used for cigarettes, cigars, and for pipe smoking. Now, as I said, tobacco has been used since colonial periods to be the South's main cash crop. Recently, the government has put some restrictions on tobacco growth. Now, tobacco farmers and tobacco companies have to do private ne negotiations with each other to actually decide how much tobacco can be grown and then sold. So, in case y'all wouldn't believe me that tobacco is a big main crop here in North Carolina, I decided to give you a nice little glimpse into Southern culture. And maybe if you behave yourselves, I might even show you how uh, grits come into existence and maybe even some barbecue too. Alright, see y'all later.